Your people are now largely settled, and they have prospered for the past several generations. You are not alone, however. Other city-states have risen and begun to expand as well. As border clashes begin, it becomes clear that growth is possible only at the expense of neighboring rivals. The Tyrrhenians covet the lands that you now control and have begun to aggressively press the issue. This outrage must not be allowed to continue. Secure your control over this region by capturing the ancient ruins close to the nearby town of Tyrins. Build two sentry towers adjacent to the ruins to deter any further enemy incursions. Alrighty, so welcome back folks to the uh, second mission in the Glory of Greece campaign, Acropolis. The objectives are to capture the ruins and construct two sentry towers beside the ruins. However, there is a secret um, win condition, which I shall be showcasing today. Let's begin. Alright, so first things first. So, we've got fishies here. We have to build a dock over here, otherwise we uh, remove the fishes, which is not what we want. Okay, we want to focus on Farm Eco. The game has nicely built a uh, thing for us. We want to upgrade Axemen. In fact, let's cancel that upgrade. Grab Axemen, it's more important. Uh, get you guys on food. These guys are on wood. Deal with that guy. We want to lose the scout, but we are going to take hold, take control of that gold mine nice and early on. Also, want to grab some fish boats. Going to grab four. We are on an island. It's now got axemen. That's great. Should be able to take. Have no uh, no issues with that sentry tower. I mean, to be fair, you can do it with clubman too. But. Axemen are just better. And they're a cheap upgrade. So we are going to build a wall. And then we're going to protect our lands from the enemy intruders. By forcing them into a bottleneck, basically. I think five fishy boats is enough. And then we're going to start focusing on Farm Eco. Next, definitely going to grab that upgrade as soon as I can. Out of food. So. Wow. Rude. Okay, so there's two places the enemy can get in. One through this region, and another more secret out of the way area that we're going to close off to start things. In fact, I need to build a uh, wall. I build that. This is a granary, isn't it? Indeed it is. Alright, start farm eco. I'm just going to build a couple of scouting ships as well. I wish there was an auto-scouting option in this game. Unfortunately, there is not. But this is the second area the enemy can basically attack us. So we're going to wall that off. That forces the enemy to attack from this angle. And then we're going to wall that off too. Kind of. We're going to leave a little bit of a um, gap so that we can move our troops through. Oh, he would finish on the other side, wouldn't he? Unbelievable. Please build it on that side. <laughs> Thank you. Unbelievable. Right, so we're going to want to build that. And then we'll build the rest of the wall kind of like here, down to the bottom. So how are we doing for villagers? A little bit slow on that. Need a couple of houses, so I'll build a couple of those. Start our upgrades, and then we want to focus on getting into the next era or next age. Need a 
Put a wolf, and that's there. Perfect. That will stop the enemy from being able to just waltz into our base whenever they feel like it. Not a fan of that. Never have been. <laughs> I'm going to grab a couple more dudes just for now. Then we'll build up a new base there. I'm going to grab a second scout ship. Grab a sentry tower. Let's continue to build up our farm eco. So the uh, the hidden wind condition is just to get um, the Tynans just to resign. It's literally that simple. So we don't have to worry, don't have to mess around with all of this um, building sentry towers malarkey. Uh, we can if the uh, the enemy decides to be very stubborn about it, but I don't think they will be. I think we'll uh, I think we'll kick them out the game quite <laughs> quite effectively. Uh, so I'm actually going to put these guys on wood. Wood eco is a little bit slow for my liking. Uh, we will need gold, so we are going to have to move on to gold production eventually. So that we can get warriors. Warriors being just a better version of Axemen. More armor, more damage. We're getting close to aging up. Oh. Really? Okay, so I need an archery range. That's fine. I was going to build one anyway. In that case, is there any other upgrades I need to grab? Might as well grab gold. I don't plan on building any... Um, have already this mission. It's not really needed to be honest. Yes. Got some people on gold. Archery range, another warriors, house, or barracks. She's going to build a third scout ship at this point. Yeah, no, no, no path through here, boys. Get off my land. How did he get through there? Really? Interesting. Not sure where the third route is then. I'll grab a government centre, pretty useful upgrades. How are they getting through there? Oh, I see. That's cheeky. I don't really want to be fighting ships. I can't really do damage back to them at this stage with these guys. We'll let our uh, scouts take care of them. Okay, so that basically reduces the uh, um, barracks pop limit. Okay, do you know what? This is uh, this is not acceptable. Grab our upgrades. Do need a lot of gold, so at this point we do want to. Grab some more of that. Grab some more houses. That 
should stop from doing that. This is more just protecting our um, our fishing eco, to be honest, more than anything else. We'll upgrade those. Once that wall is finished, we'll be able to stop them from being able to waltz into our base. I'm just gonna have to leave this here, aren't I? Oops. F3 pauses, huh? Good to know. It was actually just meant to hit um three, I think. <laughs> Not F3. Right, so max limit again, or pop limit, seems to be 50. I don't know why it's so low, but that is such a low um, unit thing. At this point, I'm going to start killing some workers off. It's got too many. Uh, you can build a farm. You... Actually, I need you on gold. Uh, no, what these guys? All right, actually, going to build a couple more barracks. At this point, we can start our assault on the enemy. Basically, oh really? <laughs> How are they getting through? That's unbelievable. Have I got a worker in here? I do. And now I'm very curious as to where they're coming from. Well, doesn't matter. We'll be uh, killing them anyway in a second. So what is the path that they decide to take then? Up through here. Wow, okay. That's interesting. Block that path off as well then. Now that should stop the enemy in their tracks. Right, team one, team two. Lovely jubbly, this should be more than enough to take care of these guys. Yeah, none of those are really that useful. Right, let's kill the, uh, let's kill the enemy. The enemy is basically primarily focusing on horses for the most part. Like, cavalry seems to be their uh, main unit of choice. But yeah, once we... Uh, we just need to take care of all the villagers. The vills are the problem, not the military for the most part. And if you keep destroying all the buildings, the production buildings, unlike in Age of Mythology, they'll just keep rebuilding it. Which is infuriating. So we're just going to kill all the villagers, basically. No villages, no rebuilds, and then they'll resign. 
And then we don't even have to worry about building the uh, sentry towers and all that, gubbins. Just force them out the game instead. Just letting the boys do all the damage whilst we uh, focus on all the uh, ads that get generated with the archers. Wow. Cheeky. I'm going to hotkey them up just in case we do need to... They decide to be stubborn. I guess at this point it could be diminishing returns trying to wait for them to leave the game. There we go. <laughs> it is easier. The demoralized Tyridian troops flee before the blades of your disciplined soldiers. With the ruins and mineral resources of the region secured, the conflict will surely not last much longer. Soon your enemies will humbly kneel before you, offering their wealth and begging for peace. With the nearby region secured, your people can now look beyond their borders, making alliances and even expanding overseas. Lead them onward. Alrighty, folks, well, that'll right about do it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up. If this is the kind of content you enjoy, then please do consider subscribing to the channel. It does help support the channel and would be greatly appreciated. Do let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And as always, I shall see you in the next video.